So now I want to shift gears a little bit to software. So, so as you know, software is at the core of every test and measurement application. Our industry relies on its functionality, flexibility, and innovation. You just saw how FlexLogger can play a key role with data, data, um, DAC applications. So now let's talk about our flagship software product, LabVIEW. LabVIEW empowers you to create a custom solution for your specific needs through its graphical user interface and extensive libraries. So to dive deeper in what we're doing in LabVIEW, I'd like to welcome to stage two of our developers, Aswar Rangwala and Alejandro Barreto. Welcome. Thanks, Kevin. We are thrilled to be here. Our team has been hard at work with LabVIEW 2025. And as you can see, it comes packed with a ton of new features. Personally, I'm a big fan of our new debugging window that combines probes, breakpoints, global toggles, and the ability to log unwired errors. We also now support Python 3.12 and .NET 8, enabling you to tap into the best toolkits no matter where they are. Plus, LabVIEW now runs in Linux on Docker containers. We've also improved the IDIF, slash build times left and right, and so much more. OK, Azra, what are some of your favorites? So my favorite, especially because I use a MacBook at home, is that LabVIEW Community Edition is coming to Mac OS. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it's already free for students, makers, and the open source community. And by bringing it to the Mac, we hope to accelerate adoption on campus. I'm also thrilled to share that we're implementing 12 ideas right from the Idea Exchange. These are ideas that have earned thousands of kudos from users like you. For that, I'd like to thank Petru, Jim, Christian, and Steve, and the amazing LabVIEW community. You all made this happen. Yeah. All right, now that's an impressive list of features, but you know I have a little bit of inside information. Um, I know what you two work on every day. And there's a feature you haven't mentioned that we did a, a early access or a early access last year, our Nigel, our AI advisor. So what's up with Nigel? Thanks for asking, Kevin. Yeah, Nigel has been busy learning. Using a wide range of model engineering techniques, we have been teaching Nigel everything there is to know about NI and about the world of tests and measurements. You will be able to talk to Nigel and get, receive accurate answers surpassing today's leading models. One day, Nigel will be everywhere. But today, his journey begins right here in LabVIEW. So let's revisit that ice block demo. As Azrar pulls up the block diagram, your eyes may begin to squint, right? We have all been here before, staring at someone else's code, trying to decipher what, it's, what it is that it's doing before you feel brave enough to make a change. Of course, most of us don't have to do it in front of 1,000 plus people, right? Azra, how's it going back there? Yeah, it's, it's going OK. Uh, <laughs> but if only there was some documentation for this VI in context help, maybe I can get a little help from Nigel. Awesome, and while Nigel boots up here um, and starts responding, Nigel will respond with a quick summary of the VI, followed by a table of its controls and indicators that will inform you how it works. And then it gets into its block diagram, giving you a description of what's going on beneath the hood. So whether you're new to LabVIEW or a seasoned pro picking up someone else's code, or maybe even your own code from a couple of weeks ago, uh, Nigel can get you going fast, thanks to its deep integration into LabVIEW. Yeah, you can even ask Nigel follow-up questions such as, does this VI save DAC data to disk? And Nigel says, no, it does not. Hmm. Well, let's fix that. Now, when it comes to saving measurement data from LabVIEW, LabVIEW provides a multitude of options, each optimized for a different use. And once again, Nigel can help. Yeah, so let's search with Nigel, save DAC data to disk. 
And as Nigel begins to search the pallets and everything that's available, oh, right there, first hit. Nigel is recommending DAC MX configure logging, which is perfect because we are already using DAC MX in this VI. So let's drag that right in, Azure. And you can also see that Nigel suggested another, uh, other suggestions here in a ranked list, such as write waveforms to file, which I didn't even know existed, or those shipping examples on the bottom half that show you how to use AZ APIs in a larger context. Nigel even explains why he picked these options. As you can see from the tooltip, he's giving you a rationale of why it got included. Because unlike other models, Nigel is analyzing your VI so it can deliver intelligent, context-aware suggestions grounded in a true understanding of LabVIEW and what it is that you're building. So if you have a rough idea of what you want to do, Nigel will bring you the data that you need to engineer a good decision uh, without having to read gobs of documentation or retype a bunch of stuff in another chatbot or just guessing and trying until something works. Nigel makes coding in LabVIEW faster and more effective. But hey, that's not all, because Nigel is also in test stand. Yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> Truly, test stand is already packed to the gills with the features you need to automate your test bench. But first, you have to know what they are. And then, let's be honest, how many times have we asked ourselves, hey, where was that setting again? Azra, show us how Nigel can help. Absolutely. So let's ask Nigel, will the sequence run in parallel? And Nigel says no. Mm. Well, things in parallel are more fun, and we do want it in parallel. So Azra, make it so. OK, Nigel, you heard it. Make it so. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Awesome. Thanks, Nigel. But hey, Nigel, <laughs> yes, this is so cool. <laughs> but Nigel doesn't just do things for you. He can also teach you how to do them, too. He can teach you about test stand. Hey, Nigel, where is that setting? And just like that, Nigel will bring up the station options dialog. And you can see there the station model property, which is where you go to set the parallelism. You know? And it's curious that the word parallel is not anywhere in there except in the, in the field. So now I know how to do it myself. I, I am now empowered as well. OK, I love using that feature because it makes me explore uh, test stand. All right, Azure, I think we're ready to run. OK, Nigel, run it. And Nigel here is asking me for confirmation, keeping me in the loop. Yes, please run it. Bam, there it is, running in parallel. Nigel, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nigel makes this so easy because he brings, so whether you're new to test stand or a seasoned pro, Nigel brings the entirety of test stand right to your fingertips. No clicking around, no learning curve. And here's the best part. Nigel is coming to both LabVIEW and Test Stand this July with, yes, very cool. And Nigel comes to you with your existing pro LabVIEW Plus subscription or service plan. That's right, Nigel will light up for you at no extra cost. So subscribe today. <laughs> and truly, July is only the beginning of our journey with Nigel. Because with every update, Nigel will keep getting smarter and more capable, ultimately making you a smarter and more capable engineer. Thanks, Kevin. All right. So, so it's great to see this technology being integrated in our platform. Now, we're going to talk about AI a little bit later in the keynote. But Osrar Alejandro, thank you. Thanks for a great demo.